Today we are sitting as guests of whom? Who are you a guest of right now? Do you know? It is not the name of a human being. It is your Lord, Allah, your maker. He brought you to this masjid. He gave you the energy, the capacity. He invited you in a way that your heart inclined towards coming to his house. And if you were not close to him, you would never go to his house. We are sitting in whose house? Please tell me. The house of Allah. Thank Allah. He brought you to his own house. Here you will not find tea and coffee and chocolates and cakes. You will find something far more valuable than this. What is it? Hudan lil muttaqeen. Guidance for those who have taqwa. Allah will show you the way to contentment towards your grave, towards going towards Allah. So you prepare for the day you're going to meet with him. All of us, we have done some good deeds and some bad deeds. Do you know what is the mercy of Allah? Allah tells you, you are human. You are insan, right? You are human. We know that you are going to commit a few sins. We know that. But we want to give you a bonus to tell you that on the day of Qiyamah, we will have a scale. A scale. وَنَضَعُ الْمَوَازِينَ الْقِسْطَ لِيَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ فَلَا تُظْلَمُ نَفْسٌ شَيْئًا Allah says on the day of judgment we will place the scales of justice and we will weigh the deeds of the people and we won't oppress anyone not even a bit what that means is Allah says we know you did some bad deeds but if you did more good deeds than bad we will ignore the bad deeds have you ever thought of that so when you've done a few bad deeds, don't lose hope. Change your life. Change your life. Make tawbah. Seek the forgiveness of Allah. Either they will be totally wiped or they will be diminished. And when you come on the day of judgment and the scale is placed, you will stand there watching. You and I. I'm going to watch my deeds. You are going to watch your deeds. We will be so worried about our own deeds that we won't even have the time to look left or right to see the other people's deeds. If the prophets of Allah are recorded to have been saying nafsi, nafsi on that day, what chance do you and I stand? La ilaha illallah. They are all worried about themselves. What about you and I? The only one who is... The greatest of the day, Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he will be saying, Ummati, Ummati, Ummati. Oh Allah, I'm concerned about my Ummah. And Allah will tell him, I fulfill my promise to you that intercession be for whomsoever you wish from amongst your Ummah with our permission. May Allah grant us the intercession of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Amen. So your deeds are placed on the scales. And now you're watching these deeds. And what are you hoping? You're hoping you pass. My children who are here, matriculants. You tell the ulama, please make dua for me. I got my matric. Right? My exams, my O level. Whatever else it may be. Please make dua. Come exam season. Kids are here for tahajjud, man. Subhanallah. I always laugh at the children. I say, I see you guys... Two times. When the English league is playing and when, there's the, and when there's examinations. One youngster came, he says, I'm fasting Monday, Thursday for the last three weeks. I said, why? I want my team to win. He said, la ilaha illallah. I want my team to win. Look at the focus and dedication. Can't we fast Monday and Thursday for, if we for myself, for the sake of Allah? Even if you failed your matric, but you earned Jannah, Wallahi, you have succeeded. And even if you got all A's and you aced them, but you didn't read Salatul Fajr, you lost everything. Raka'ata al-Fajri, khayrum minad dunya wa ma fiha. 
The two sunnah of Fajr is better than the whole world and whatever it contains in the eyes of Allah. Are you going to get up tomorrow morning early and say, Oh Allah, this is better than the Porsches and the Ferraris and the Bugattis and the Rolls Royces and the whatever. Not notice I'm giving you car examples because we all owes here, man. MashaAllah. Even the women are into vehicles these days. The other day I saw someone raced past me. I said, she was in niqab. I said, la ilaha illallah. The world is changing. MashaAllah. I thought my foot was heavy. I said, no ways. The sisters, mashallah, they're gymming it, man. Allah grant goodness. The point I'm raising is all this that we look at valuable, your perfumes, your clothes, your accessories, your watches, your cars, your houses, your facilities, your air cons, your bear cons, your pools, your warm, whatever it's called, heated pools and whatever else. All of that, it won't help you. The minute your eyes close forever and ever and ever and ever, what will help you is raka'ata al-fajri khayrum min dunya wa ma fiha. Your two rakats of fajr, sunnah, that is far more valuable than all of this put together. So what is it that I was saying for two months I've been struck by? I still haven't told you. I'm just building up the momentum to tell you. Allah on the day of Qiyamah will give you your book, your own book. That's what it is. I am telling you now because Allah told Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu who told his companions and the chain came all the way down to us. Today we have a Hafid who is going to be completing the memorization of the Quran today. Hence, we are gathered here to listen to this beautiful melodious recitation of the last few verses that he's going to recite. The whole idea is the message that came through to us includes in it the fact that Allah Almighty is going to give you your book. What's in the book? Your deeds. Your book of deeds. What did you do in your life? From the beginning of puberty to the time your eyes closed. Whatever you did is in this book. So Allah says, those who did not turn to us. How do you turn to Allah? Either by seeking forgiveness or by entering into the correct faith. You enter into the correct faith with a shahada and you believe in the pillars of Islam and Iman. You worship Allah alone, etc, etc. Or you're a Muslim already. You make tawbah, you seek Allah's forgiveness. Change your ways. It's, it's okay. Change it. Stop it. Your sin won't get you far. You know you're going to regret it one day. Stop it from now. It's not going to help you. It's not going to get you anywhere. You don't need it. You don't. So Allah will give you this book. Right now, guess what? You are writing the book. Today, you are writing the book. In that book, it will be stated, you gathered in this masjid, you heard this, you sat with this person, this one was next to you. That Whatever detail you want to know, you will know. How many droplets of sweat you sweated, if you did sweat, you will know. Because that day, all the records there. Detail, minor, fine. The finest, that which you didn't know, it's already in there. You are writing your book now. That's the beauty of it. Allah says, while you are writing your book, you can add and subtract and delete and change and edit. But the minute we decide, hand in your book, it's like examination. You sat in matric, one hour exam, 59, up to 59 minutes and 59 seconds, you could chop and change and delete and erase and cross and answer again and say one plus one is five, come back to say one plus one is three and then go back and 59.59, you quickly said no, one plus one is two. What happened? They said stop, which means the time is expired, finished. Put your pen down. Whatever you had written last is the answer that's going to be corrected or ticked or crossed. You can lead your life in the wrong path 70 years. If your life is 70 and at 70 you turn to Allah the last day, you're a lucky chap. It's in the hadith. And the opposite is true. You can have a saint for 70 years reading in the first saf. If Allah kicks you out one day before you decided, let me just go and do X, Y, Z. May Allah protect us. May Allah never take us away except with Iman. So Allah is going to give you your book. You're writing it now. Write it well. How do you write it well? 
check it ask someone allah says ask fasalu ahla dhikri in kuntum la ta'lamuna bil bayyinati waz zubur if you don't know ask those with knowledge make a friend or two with a little bit of knowledge speak to them good company how are you writing your book they must look at you and correct the way you writing your book hey bhai you are writing your book here you know what you writing in this book every day two packets of cigarettes can't you change this man you know i gave this example yesterday at the masjid in johannesburg hey some of the people afterwards didn't really like it how come isn't it good uh, good advice to say quit smoking quit smoking inshallah it's a good thing some of my buddies some of the people i know well i you know but we have to thank you so much for listening to the short message i pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope and the same applies to all of us jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh